Welcome back everybody to Synalytics Crypto. Thank you for being here. My name is Mike and we're going to talk about a couple things here. <clears throat> As you can see on my screen, we're going to talk about Unlock Protocol. But before we do, I've been kind of working on something in my mind. I've been kind of dealing with a little something. We're going to talk about it. I realize that this might not be a popular subject because we're going to kind of call another YouTuber out. And uh, there's a reason for that. And it's, um, well, let's talk about it. I am going to be curious as to what you guys think in the comments below. So uh, please do so. Like I said, this could be a very unpopular subject matter, but I kind of just got to call a spade a spade right now. And uh, we're going to get into that before we get into Unlock Protocol. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because it does actually kind of have to do somewhat directly and indirectly with Unlock Protocol. But first, let's take a look at this. Chico Crypto. Before I get into this clip, let me give you my opinion on Chico Crypto. Uh, I used to really like this guy. I actually do watch most of his videos. Uh, he does actually have a lot of really good information and we definitely share something in common. We both absolutely despise and are disgusted and cannot stand leverage trading. I can't stand it when people shill their leverage trading, buy bit programs, all this other stuff, yada, yada, yada. It's the worst thing for the space. And as a matter of fact, if you look at a lot of the dumps and a lot of the pullbacks that we have, um, they're not organic. They are caused by people uh, leveraging the crap out of their Bitcoin and shorting the market or longing the market, however they tend to do it. They move the market this way. Um, it is downright gambling. It is basically most people lose on leverage trading and I think it's the worst thing in crypto. So cheers to you, Chico, on that because I absolutely agree with you. Um, however, Chico Crypto has a very big channel. He's been around for a very long time, has done a lot of really good work in crypto, but the guy, it's all gone straight to his head. It's just totally gone straight to his head. And the reason I say that is um, because of his cocky, naturist attitude, and the fact that he is very actually um, savvy and very wise when it comes to crypto, he basically is now starting to treat a lot of his subs and a lot of the people who actually very generously tip him. Um, and he just basically kind of dumps all over them. As soon as somebody mentions, a, a, they'll, they'll tip him some money and they'll mention a product that they want him to look at because the guy's got a great thing going, right? He's, you know, obviously his advice has made a lot of people money. And so he, had to, he does these live streams, right? And people just throw money at him. And I've never seen anybody tip somebody more than I do on Chico Crypto because he's got this thing going where basically if you you know tip him, he'll mention whatever uh, project that you want to mention by tipping him and he'll talk about it and people know that the uh, good way to get interest in their project or to shill their bags or whatever it is that they want to do, all they got to do is get Chico to talk about it. So guy's got himself a great thing going, but he if you guys look at his last live stream, go look at it. It was done yesterday, I believe. I watched it till I just couldn't stomach it anymore, and uh, I gave up on it. But um, in his live stream, he basically uh, starts with his content. People start shilling him right away, start tipping him, and he goes, he gets upset. He says, guys, blah, 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 and he, he basically just kind of roots on people and makes them feel stupid and keeps telling at them, uh, yelling at them and telling them, hey, save that for later. Uh, and throughout the course of the live stream, people keep doing it. Then he gets more and more ticked off. It's actually kind of funny to watch, but he never really gets a chance to get into the content without interruption of people constantly shilling him. So when he comes to the point where he actually starts talking about um, the coins, it's time to shill your coins, guys. Throw the money at the Chico and make the Chico dance and mention your coin. Um, people bring up stuff that he doesn't like. Uh, UDT was one of them, actually, which is what directly does uh, tie in with UDT. And uh, he basically just talks crap and then he just makes people feel stupid for shilling stupid coins and blah, 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 all the while taking your money. But what bothers me the most right now is what we're about to look at here because it has to do with research. And this is how it indirectly uh, ties in with UDT because UDT, this project requires a lot of DYOR and doing your own research. Um, I've done some research. I haven't done too much research. Um, I actually did go in on UDT a few days back, right around the $600 range, because I was um, finding out some information that I did like what I saw, basically based on the fact that Coinbase Ventures backs them. So with the fact that they're backed by Coinbase Ventures was kind of sort of enough for me because a lot of those projects end up being billion dollar or more type billion dollar projects. Uh, Coinbase does not just back anybody. Uh, UDT is onto some big things. But like I said, before we get into that, let's go take a look at what Chico has to say about, about um, doing your own research. And then we're going to break it down afterwards. 
research. Many people tell you to do your own, but when they say do it on your own, D-Y-O-R, I just laugh because they don't ever show you how. Because those fake researchers on YouTube, the other crypto tubers, don't know how to do it themselves. They cannot. So what did you just say, dude? You basically just ripped on every other YouTuber, including myself and a lot of the other great YouTubers out there, because we don't teach people how to do their own research. So this is where I feel somewhat justified in calling out Chico because he basically just said, let's hear that one more time. OR, I just laugh because they don't ever show you how. Because those fake researchers on YouTube, the other crypto tubers, don't know how to do it themselves. They cannot DYOR because they just copy and paste. Well, here's something for them to snap a quick picture of because it's time for... Yeah, 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 it's time for Chico Crypto. Okay, so you just ripped on everybody because um, we don't tell people how to do their, or don't show people how to DYOR. You guys know if you watch some of my videos that I'm big on doing your own research because I've always said nobody can do better research than you. It's your money. You should be the one confident enough in your research if you're going to invest in a particular project. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of projects, so many good projects right now, we almost don't know what to do with them, right? Um, well. You'll see as we get into UDT that it does require an extensive amount of research, which I'm not going to do for you, but I'm going to show you how to do it yourself, thus nullifying what Chico just said about every other YouTuber out there. Uh, so let's also talk about this fact. Chico Crypto, who does have a great channel and a great little background here, he actually has a team of people who do most of his research for him. Then they package it down and break and give it to him and then he can make a video about it or whatever. I'm not knocking the guy. Look, he's basically like a Sherlock Holmes, right? He he started out by doing a lot of really, really, really good research, but he got so big and he's he can afford it. So good on him, not knocking him for that. He's got a successful thing. I totally commend that. I uh, love the fact that he talks down on leverage trading, but for him to come out and say that is a bit hypocritical because basically he's got a, he's got a couple guys doing his research for him. So. Good for you, Chico, but you know what? I see through your stuff and um, kind of calling a spade a spade. So let's go real quick, just because I want to talk about the cringe factor here that I just, this is what gets me to, I can only get so far in some of his videos and especially his live streams. The cringe factor is just really bad, especially when he's just trashing on people who are throwing money at him. I will tell you guys this, once I get to the point where I'm ever live streaming, I'm not doing it for tips. But if anyone ever does tip me, you best believe I'm gonna have enough respect that you're throwing, well, I don't care if it's a dollar or if it's 10 cents or if it's $100. If you're throwing your money at me because you wanna hear what I have to say about a certain something, I'm gonna have a lot of respect for that. I would never talk down to my subs. I guess when you get too big, it just all goes to your head. Perfect example. Let's get a little cringe in here, just for fun, until we get to the content. So damn, Chico, where's the token? Where is the crypt? Really, dude? Super cringe. All right, enough of that. Like I said, if you've even made it this far, let's get into UDT. I'm sure there's gonna be some comments down here from the Chico army or from people who just don't look kindly upon that, but look, if he's gonna come out and call out everybody else on the DYR, DYOR factor, then I'm gonna do the same to him because he's been doing this crap for a long time and frankly, I am absolutely sick of it. So, unlock protocol. Once again, you guys, this is something you're gonna to have to do a lot of research on because even by the time we get to the website, you'll see there's so much more to this than you can find on the surface. And we are not gonna do that in this video, so if that's what you're expecting, you can save yourself the time. But full discretion, like I said, I did invest in Unlock Protocol because I found it um, from Superman, believe it or not, and then I saw it again from CM Top Dog. Uh, I like CM Top Dog a lot. He's the guy that turned me on to Omi. What else did he turn me on to? He turned me on to a couple other things uh, back in the day, but uh, he does really some good research. He finds he finds great gems. And when he found this, this was a gem. But the funny thing is, is in that live stream, um, Chico really trashed on Supo Man. And I will tell you this, I'm not a fan of Supo Man. Back in the day, he was like the ultimate shill dog. He was just, I mean, people were making videos or making raps about him. I mean, he just was really, he did himself a, a disservice because he just really, was very shilly and and kind of scammy in the way he presented things i will say this he did kind of sort of go away 
uh, during the, the bear market and then he kind of returned. He's a lot better now. So uh, look, I watch a wide range of crypto YouTubers because I get a lot of information that way. And a lot of times um, I take that information and I cross reference it. And when I start to see momentum from multiple sources over certain projects, that's how I've gotten into a lot of these projects, um, especially earlier before I started making YouTube. But I'm also reading a lot of comments. And so when I see an overall theme of something kind of starting to line up, uh, I really try that's where I start to take investigations and I start getting on um, telegrams and uh, Twitter and all those things and start finding out looking at websites there's a lot to DYOR ing and um, this is gonna be the perfect chance to teach you guys how to do that so um, there's the nice little long-winded background on that so let's just take a look at it real quick the 24-hour trading volume is definitely on the, the incline 15 million plus um, the circulating supply we don't know the circulating supply um, looks like 100 does about a, over a little over a million coins the 24-hour low and high look this thing's jumping around all over the place let's just go let's go take a look at um, this chart right here uh, virtually 30 days the same as 90 day um, yeah you can see it was down here this is actually right around when Superman mentioned it I think he mentioned it down around like the first time he mentioned it was, it was under $200 so he was pretty much on top of that I will say this about Superman he does have a knack for finding gems before they get big also you know when you when you when you cover a wide range of crypto gems you're gonna have your hits you're gonna have your misses it just happens um, Thankfully, so far on my channel, we haven't really had any misses. We're also in a bull run, so I'm not gonna give myself too much credit, but I try to bring things to you guys that I think are relevant and have a chance to actually be something. I also have a lot of disclosure, you guys. I don't tell you how much I bought, but I do tell you where I got in. And uh, people have been asking for exit strategies. I will be going over those exit strategies as I begin to exit certain pro uh, projects because I think that's you know key because obviously you wanna take profits and hopefully be smart enough to put your profits into projects that are long-term, things like Bitcoin, things like Ethereum, things like Chainlink, Link, those are going to be the ones that you want to hold on to um, for the long term. But you can see this once this thing started climbing, um, I was real nervous of getting it around 600 bucks. I thought, what am I doing? You know, this thing, when, it, when I saw it on um, D, uh, CM Top Dogs, it was about 400 bucks. By the time I got around to it, it was $615. Uh, is where I entered and I thought oh gosh uh, maybe this thing just pumped I don't know and then I just kind of had this gut feeling and I went with it and I so I bought a couple at um, uh, 600 bucks and then uh, a couple days later I'm like okay well I just doubled my money what's going on let's let's, let's hold on and see what happens touch 2,000 almost 2,000 almost 2,000 again a lot of shop this is some shoppiness why because this is a project that a lot of people are trading in and out of it got a, a reach an all-time high of just over two thousand dollars according to this right here 2086 um i will say this my personal opinion is that this could be big i could totally swing and miss and if this thing went to zero i don't have a ton of money in it i could it, it's not gonna you know make or break my day but the fact that I think that because Coinbase Ventures is involved with this, it, this could be really, really big. And what they're trying to do um, is pretty significant, actually. So um, we look at the 24-hour low and high, lots of swing trading opportunities. If you guys are into swing trading, this could be a real big one. Unfortunately, I think for right now, it's only on Uniswap. I know I got mine on Uniswap. I, I don't really see another way to get this, which is another good thing that I do like about it because um, eventually I think, well, I know that this is going to hit other exchanges. So these are the projects that I like to get into. It did me really good with OMI. I went to BitForex and opened up an account just so I could get a hold of OMI and I got in at a really good price. Um, so it was worth it. So I like to take the kind of risks, rewards with these kinds of things and get into them before this project or has the potential to possibly be big and get listed on other uh, exchanges. The fact that it's on Coinbase Ventures does not guarantee that it's going to be listed on Coinbase, but it does also give it a really good chance that someday that it might actually do that. So if that happens, you know, the sky's the limit for a project like this. And even though, you know, we're looking at a token price of roughly $1,700, Let's just refresh this real quick because this thing moves pretty quickly. I'm just curious. Oh, okay, let's $1,800. Um, you know, it's kind of like the Bitcoin thought. You know, you could buy a tiny little bit of Bitcoin or you could buy, you know, hundreds and hundreds or thousands of Cardano, for example, right? It, it, those kinds of things weigh in on the psyche for newer investors. But but don't, don't think that you can't get in on a project. Look what happened with YFI. The first time I saw YFI, it was like $2,400. I was like, oh, I don't want to get into that. It's too expensive. And what did that thing do? It went to like forty grand. It's just, you know, you can't let these kinds of things steer you away, but you definitely need to be cautious with stuff like this. So I am not a financial advisor. I am definitely exercising caution when investing in projects like this. And um, 
a lot of times, you know, I do want to talk. In fact, I do. Look, guys, if you're not in the Telegram, join the Telegram because I do mention things all the time. If I get into a project right away, I'm pretty much on Telegram within a couple minutes letting people know, hey, I just took a little punt on this project or I'm thinking about getting into this project or whatever. So I did mention this right when I got into it, right around $615. Uh, I was not really so concerned with making a video right away because um, I was having trouble when I ran into the DYOR factor because it's hard to kind of research this. You gotta, you gotta dig deeper if you're going to you know, research this particular project. Um, so that being said, you guys, we're gonna go to the website in a second, but before we do, I do wanna give a shout out to one of the folks on my Telegram because they posted something that I saw as a little bit relevant to this um, because it has actually everything to do with the video that we're posting. Where is that? Pardon me one second, guys. I think it's right here. So, shout out to you, Flo. Flo with the capital SV. Flo SV. Um, he or she posted, um, Unlock Protocol is now available on Discord, or for Discord. Easily monetize your Discord channel or specific tabs with UDT. Link below for instructions. So I didn't click the link, I didn't go there, but sounds to me like they're actually starting to do what they're talking about doing. So you're not gonna get all the information you want on this website. What I'm trying to teach you guys to do by telling you guys to do your own research, despite Chico thinking he's the only person in the world who's, you know what, doesn't stink. Um, I, I'm telling you the best way to research this is to get on the Telegrams, is to get on the Twitters, is to get on the Discord and go start researching this because this particular website does not give you the information that you would probably want or need before investing into something that's already shot up, well, several several X's even since I got it. It's tripled since I've bought it. So um, like I wouldn't throw more money at it right now, but I'm certainly glad I got in at $600 and I will be holding just because I'm so curious as to see what they're doing. But the overall basics of this is monetize the web through memberships, okay? Unlock lets you easily lock and manage access to your content, apps, community, and even real life events and spaces. Um, I've gone to their dashboard, but then it asked me to join. I don't want to join anything right now. I'm very wary of clicking links on the internet. So I just kind of, um, you can see where I'm running into the trouble here with some of the DYOR stuff. Uh, you can manage all your keychains membership without a third party crypto wallet. That's cool. Uh, you are in control. Unlock is an open source protocol integrated in any and every way you'd like. It's pretty broad. It also is permissionless. There are no middlemen. That's good. You can check out their GitHub. This is me teaching you how to DYOR, Chico Crypto. A Web3 future. Take advantage of the blockchain and smart contracts to create customizable ways to access content and much more. Check out their docs if you'd like to do that. Use cases. We've built a few apps to showcase the power of Unlock. Create an Unlock on the Discord and get started or check some of the apps. Kind of vague. Like I said, you're not gonna find what you need from the website. You're gonna to have to dig deeper if you're into this at all. Um, my job on Cinelinux Crypto is simply to make you guys aware of um, potential things that I think really could be good. I've also many times, and I always will continue to say, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet making YouTube videos, and you can see that this is a smaller channel. So uh, number one, saying that, if you have not liked and subscribed, please do give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I mean, this could be definitely a heavily laden thumbs down video. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Uh, whatever you have to say is out there in the public and um, you know you have the right to do that. This is a free country and you should express yourself. But I'm asking you to give a like or a dislike and uh, maybe share with somebody that you're thinking might need this information. Feel free to repost any of these things. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that bread button. It takes two seconds. Um, and again, if you could leave comments below, because this is a very open-ended project, I would like to know more myself. Uh, shout out to the people in the Telegram. I often learn more from you guys than you learn from me. I just bring projects out to the surface and let you know that number one, I'm invested or thinking of investing, or maybe you should look further into this before you invest. So that's what we're doing here, you guys. Um, they're just, like I said, isn't much to see about here. You can go check out the About section. We're a small and nimble team of coders who design um, and designers with a vision for a better and fairer way, fairer way to monetize content. This is cool because monetizing content is going to be a big business. 
Um, we should all be able to monetize our content. I know and everyone knows who's involved with YouTube. I haven't even monetized the channel yet. I will be doing that at some point because I would like to get a little something for my effort. Um, I'm certainly never going to shill you guys by a bit. I'm never going to ask you to make donations. I'm never going to shill projects so they can pay me to talk about them. Um, so if my YouTube channel gets big enough and I would like to monetize it, that would be cool. Um, but a lot of people have a lot of struggle. I mean, the fact that even when you do a live stream and people tip you, for instance, on YouTube, they take a lot of that money. Um, and I think that they're entitled to that, but I think that they're, there's a lot of greed when it comes to like to stuff like that. Being able to monetize your own content is huge, huge, huge business. People are already spinning off and they're going into other platforms and this, that, and whatever. There's a lot of things going on. So if, I, if Unlock Protocol can really actually help people do that, and from what I heard, which is unverified, it's just a link from somebody in my Telegram, but if, if they're indeed already working with Discord, that's a great trial space. Um, if they could break into bigger markets, that would be really, really huge. Coinbase Ventures must see something in this project to be able to back them. So again, you guys go look at all this stuff. Go tool around with this website. Go click on some of the other links if you like. Definitely get into the Telegram. Definitely get into the Twitter, uh, Discord. That's where you find out a ton of information. Uh, they have a team of just a couple guys right here. I don't know anything about these guys. Never heard of them. Talked a little bit about them. So it's definitely not an Anon team, which is great. I really don't particularly like to... Um, target things with an add-on team, too many rug pulls. Um, I will say I, I don't believe that this is a rug pull project, but um, you never know. Definitely comes with a risk attached to it. Um, don't know really what else to show you guys here, but yeah, Synalytics, we are invested in Unlock Protocol. And if I would have known better, I would have probably thrown a little bit more at it, but I kind of had to rob Peter to pay Paul. In other words, I had to take profits from another project to put into this, which is why I kind of just made a, a little bit of an investment in this simply out of curiosity. This is something I'm definitely going to hold. These are the kind of projects that, you know, um, they could totally fizzle out, but, but they could be big. Um, this definitely could head into the multiple thousands of dollars range. I think there's a, there are already a lot of people talking about how big this could be and, and that people don't understand the scope of how big this actually could be. So um, there is definitely a possibility with that. What do I see this on as a scale? It is high risk. It's also high reward. So full transparency, that's what I'm thinking with this project. Uh, you can get it on Uniswap. I know the fees are rough, so if you know if it's not worth it for you to make that, I totally get it. But I'm just more interested in what you guys have to say. So thank you for joining me here. Listen, I'm not trying to be too hard on Chico. For those of you who really like the guy, I just think that he just needs to kind of tone it down and maybe have a little bit of respect and remember his humble beginnings. Um, and when people are tipping you, man, you should just you should really um, be a little bit kinder to the people instead of kicking people while they're while they're down and giving you money and um, and making fun of other people. Listen, um, you know, uh, like I said, when it comes to um, to Supo Man, you know, I kind of I kind of feel sorry for the guy. He he really had a hard time. I saw one of his videos that was very uh, heartwarming and touching, and I, I like to see the fact that he's making a comeback because I, you guys got to remember, crypto's universal. Um, we should all kind of sort of try to be together on these kinds of things. And, uh, you know, maybe that's a little bit hypocritical of me for calling out Chico, but man, you know, he's the one that fired the first shot, even though they weren't personal, you know, for him to basically go out there and say that every other YouTuber sucks compared to him, even though it's not verbatim what he said, that's kind of what I got out of it. So, you know, just a little bit of fun, that's all. I mean, no harm, you know, I, I love peace in this community. I love to see everybody do well, you guys know that. Um, I, I hate to see tribalism. I'm always talking about how, you know, Ethereum and Cardano are a perfect example of, of fierce competitors, but yet they, they really help each other grow. They really help uh, hold each other accountable. And ultimately the best result is for, for us, the investors, because we wanna see technology progress. We wanna see things do well. So uh, all jokes aside, you guys, I say all these things with a smile, definitely no hate, it's all love. Uh, just some things to me are kind of funny. So uh, don't know what else to say other than peace.